On to the sixth on the program, race uh, number six is the first leg of the six up. It's a class three over the 1400 metres, headed by Superwise. Now for a chance taking 10 pounds off his back from barrier 13. Young legend, last start course and distance winner, Zach Purton. Follow me, he's a two time course and distance winner this season. Jolly Jean should roll forward off the inside gate. Rule the blinkers come off. Uh, multiple winner, but they've all been at 1800 uh, plus. Triumphant horse was uh, behind the young legend last time out, finishing in fifth place and down to uh, looking good. And top score is getting very close to a class drop. He'll jump from barrier two with Vincent Ho in the saddle. One, one, two, and Cool Team are the horses that have been up at uh, Chung Fa within the last month. Yeah, Cool Team's won a trial up there, coming from back in the field and closing off to win. Super wise, Alfred Chan, barrier 13. They'll have to zip over from that gate, try and get in front of Young Legend, who probably will hand up. Looking good, might look to go forward as well from 14 if he can step well. And Follow Me should get a nice little cushy run just in behind from gate four. Yeah, young legend, he's moving nicely here. Now he's the odds on favourite at this stage. Uh, he did win nicely but beating Beauty Day last start. Uh, Zach Purton, uh, barrier number five for him. He does it nicely down the back straight so he's a horse going well at the moment. Follow me, he's now back from Chung Far and uh, look, he goes really well. I've liked his track work. You can see he's really keen to get on with the job here. Uh, he was quite impressive when he won three starts over this course and distance as well. So I think he's really well placed from barrier number four. And uh, best alliance, I made this a horse to follow from two starts. Got a few of the horses I've made to follow uh, running on this meeting. So the chickens are home to roost, hopefully. He's another one. He goes nicely enough here and uh, he goes well. So I think he's improved. Put you into a quandary, <laughs> hasn't <it>, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> There's a few. All right, well, let's um, start off with Super Wise, who may well be our, our leader, beating follow me. His course and distance record is superb from six starts, two wins and three times he's finished second as well. Yeah, nice win here from Superwise. He's, he's gone well since he's changed stables. He's only a little horse now and then taking the 10 pounds off him, uh, he'll go to the front and try and do this again. But I, I think follow me's improved a lot since this uh, particular run. I was really taken with this start, three back. From barrier four compared with Superwise's 13, I, I quite like follow me in this. The winner actually pulled up lane there after that win, so that was a pretty mm. solid effort. Um, he'll be up there giving Curry no doubt early, and uh, whether he can hang on, not sure if he can this time, but he is going well. OK, what about uh, Young Legends? Uh, this is a super win from him uh, last time out. His second one uh, here in Hong Kong. It was course and distance beating Beauty Day. Get the feeling Exaltation's a horse probably for next season. Triumphant Horse is a little value runner in this race. Uh, they put the blinkers on last start for him. It didn't quite work out, but he ran well the start, a couple of starts prior. So he's a little value runner, but outside of them, I think Young Legend's clearly the pick. He's going great guns for the racing club, and he'll go pretty close again. Yeah, I've got him in there, Young Legend. Uh, it was good to yielding track here. I'll be interested in what the track does come up on Sunday, mm. but he did win nicely enough. All right, so and he is currently as well, 1.9. Our odds on favourite. Plenty of time for that to change. Cool team, the last one. We'll have a look at this. Is at uh, Chung Fa with the, the thousand uh, metres. So this is the first time on the course since mid March. Yeah, had an issue after his last start with his right front. He's gone back to Chun Fa. He's only had three starts here. He's been specked a couple of times in the betting. He closed off from back in the field. I'll be watching the market with him. I'm going to throw him in actually. I think he's a bit of a value runner because of all that support um, at his second start in the betting. I get the feeling there's a lot of people. Uh, have quite an opinion of this guy. Judging his overseas form, he might be quite talented. So he's probably a n next season horse overall, but he'll sneak in for me. Yeah, I didn't get him in. I'm happy to see, see how he goes there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the market's certainly told a story in the past. So six races in, I think this is the fourth odds on favour. We've had something like that, Paul. Yeah, I, I like Follow Me to beat him, though. I think Follow Me's uh, really well placed in this. Barrier four, he maps perfectly. Uh, he's improved since his last start, and he's a winner over the course and distance. So I'm happy to go with him on top. Best Alliance is a horse I made to follow. He's one there for odds for your multiples. Uh, young Legend's obviously in good form, but I don't like the 1.9 about him. And looking good, he'll get back. He'll be running on late. 3 8 two, 13, but like the three. I think Young Legend will get another chance uh, to make it back-to-back -back wins for the racing club. But I admit, cool team at value and follow me look the main dangers. And Superwise is the one they'll all have to overhaul because he looks the guaranteed leader. 2 6 3 one. Yeah, Superwise uh, for me, wide gate, but I think he can get across. Um, hopefully that £10 will kick in late and he can hold on to win. One and three, my cue there in the sixth. All right, we'll take a short break here. Uh, and again, reminder, the ninth is our feature race. That is the Sports Club Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup.